Nim and Tom and Hui and Hang, who fortunately today got their visas, so we are all ready to roll and fly to the United States together. And then that begins the last leg of the cross-cultural at this time when we move into the Summer Peace Building Institute. And we will be the hosts and explain our history, our, our beliefs, our culture. Dan was asking the question, is it more difficult visiting a country that you aren't familiar with and having to adjust to the climate and the food and the changes and the language and the people and all the different places? And yeah, was it more difficult traveling in Vietnam and being hosted or was it more difficult having people here? And for me, it's definitely been more of a challenge hosting people here. I didn't really know what to expect. Like I didn't really have any idea kind of what it was gonna be like. It was exhausting and I was never exactly sure if they were having a good time. I couldn't get a feel. I wasn't sure if they were, if they felt comfortable saying what they wanted to do or, or how they were feeling. So I spent a lot of time just trying to, to make sure that they were having as much fun or at least enjoying themselves as much as they could. This is the first time most of them have, you know, traveled outside of the country. Um, and you know, just being in a new environment is totally overwhelming. I, re I remember the first time I was out of the country. Um, this is the first time I came to America. And maybe going by plan is not familiar. But I made this. <laughs> the food, yeah, it's the most challenging. <laughs> yeah, maybe at first I cannot eat it, but I can get familiar with very quickly. I mean, like we, we just um, travel half of the world here and then jump into glasses first. That lasting, lasted six hours and a half every day. So we were kind of exhausted. It's, it's been really interesting and, and also very challenging to try to show them the Harrisonburg experience or, or the Virginia experience or what it means to be an American or to live in the United States. I knew that the hardest part of the trip was going to be hosting and showing them around town and um, you know and going to class with them. It's really it's it's really been difficult unpacking you know what you know what comes completely natural to you. I think the experience I can get in the Americas is how to live with American people and how to communicate with other people from many countries. It is a really developed country with uh, many roads and cars, uh, but uh, in Virginia I like um, the environment here with many trees and uh, many nice houses. I think the challenges of hosting just are the expectation that you know like, you're the expert, you've invited these people into your context, and you're supposed to provide a representative snapshot of it. And how do you, like, how do, you do that? And I don't know that some of the things that we picked did that very well, um, but I don't know what we should have, what, where else we should have gone, or it's really hard to, to create a snapshot of your life rather than just experiencing it. We can do things like show them the economical differences between the Dayton Farmers Market and then Walmart, and we can show them the shops downtown, and we could show them the Valley Mall or any of these things, and we can show them, you know, the, the Valley's history of the Civil War and plantation life, and we can, you know, we can we can show them these things. But on the other hand, while while I'm a history major and I think these things, and also a business minor. I think these things are very interesting and I'm, I'm very, very into these things. At the same time, I found it difficult to show them what it really means to live in Harrisonburg. We try to jam pack as much into a day as possible, which is a completely understandable thing to do given you know, limited amounts of time. It's just, if we can just relax with them 
it seems to me that a lot of the hosting um, comes a lot more natural. Well, I think all the things I have done uh, here are very good to me. And I think uh, they are completely new to me. My knowledge uh, has been uh, enlarged a lot. Maybe in my life, this is the most challenging time because uh, at least in a very different environment, we can speak only English. And